What about the other ones? Look how this works out, man. You got D, okay? D, E, F, and you're gonna use these fingers because of the note A on the next string. You're gonna be faster. If you'd use this one, you could use your ring finger, but it's just not gonna be as fast. So you got D, E, F, G, A, B. Okay, now notice on the B string, we have whole step half, but a five fret spread on the other one. Now that's important because symmetrically, we're gonna end up with that at the end. And you have a connector between the two shapes. I'm gonna call them a shape. D, E, F, G, A, B. In other words, whole step half, whole step, whole step on the next string. When you go to E Phrygian, you have a fingers one, two, four, one, three, four. Now that is a half step hole on the second string, whole step half, first six notes of the Phrygian, right? Now, remember what we did in the first one, it's going to turn upside down, and we've got five fret spread from F Lydian, the sharp four, B, C, D, okay? And that is the symmetry of how we started for the last three groups. Okay, so let's put that to use on the sixth string. We have D, E, F, G, A, B, D, E, F, G, A, B, D, E, F, G, A, B. And we work on those. E Phrygian, get to know those six notes. F Lydian. So we come up one, go down the other, practice going up and down, but now let's do it with the seventh note of each mode and look at the four note per string method. D, E, F, G, A, B, slide. D, E, F, G, A, B, slide. D, E, F, G, A, B, slide. Okay? Let's slide with the first finger. D, E, F, G, slide, B, C. D, E, F, G, slide, B, C. D, E, F, G, slide, B, C. Three notes on one string, four notes on the other. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So the half step is between the third and fourth finger, okay? D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's what you're practicing. So E Phrygian the same way. Okay, sliding with the pinky. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's D on the high note of the Explorer. I've always liked that. Because you can bend to E, and E is in so many cool key signatures. So when you bend that, that's really nice. Now E Phrygian with the first finger sliding. E, F, G, A, slide. E, F, G, A, slide. E, F, G, A, slide. Okay? Very nice, very nice. So now, four notes. Where's the half step going to be? That's going to be very important. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Right in the middle, man. Right in the middle. Second and third finger. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Very comfortable that way. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Okay, you want to get used to that. Now we have the F Lydian. Where's the half step going to be? Take a guess. That's right, first and second finger, because it started with the third and fourth, it went to the second and third, now it's going to be the half step's going to be between the first and second. And that's important to know. F, G, A, B, C, D, slide. F, G, A, B, C, D, slide. F, G, A, B, C, D, and then you got to bend to the next note. Okay? So you're going to go to the first finger, slide. So you got F, G, A, B, slide, D, E. F, G, A, B, slide, D, E. F, G, A, B, slide, D, bend. <laughs> and then you've got uh, four notes on the next string. Now the half step between the index and middle finger. Let's do it down here. F, G, A, B, C, D, E. F, G, A, B, C, D, E. F, G, A, B, C, D, E. It's another reason why you should practice four notes per string instead of three notes per string or two notes per string or one note per string 
I mean, two notes per string is a great exercise too, but fours, <laughs> well, it's better because you can see the whole scale. Well, more than half the scale of a diatonic scale, you can see more than half. That's the way we should see it anyway. Play this note, see two notes above and two notes below. Not just a side, one note on each side of it, two notes on each side of it.